What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and when I got to work this morning I found out that I had the day off now under normal circumstances I'd kind of bitch about that, but I knew that the Psycho Shooting Stars Alpha Collection came out today So I went straight to GameStop found a copy picked it up and Unfortunately the copy that I got GameStop took the privilege of unwrapping the outer shell of the game so threw a sticker on there and this wasn't even on the shelf for display, which is weird. They should have just left it in the box, but all the, all the contents are in there, so I'm not going to not gonna bitch that bad. But yeah, nice looking box there. Um, this collection is, is being known right now for its uh, amazing uh, collection of a soundtrack. Um, we'll get to that here in a minute, but those colors there, that purple and black, for those of you that are football fans, I'm certainly not a football fan, but for those of you that are, those are our Baltimore Ravens colors. Um, which is apparently a team that's doing pretty well this year. They just got beat by some other football team. But, um, yeah, I thought I wasn't going to need the switchblade, but it looks like I still... That switchblade knife is the greatest thing for prying those boxes open and not, uh, you know, creasing that, uh, the middle of the box right there on the fold. But, yeah, nice outer packaging. I mean, look at that artwork. That's nice. There's six games in this collection. I think it's, uh, Strikers 1945, Strikers 1945 too. Interesting fact... Here in the, I'm in the United States, here in the U.S., on the PlayStation 1, we got Strikers 1945, but it, it was really Strikers 1945 too on the PlayStation 1, so kind of interesting fact. So when you play that version on this collection, you know, you're really playing the original Strikers 1945 that we got here in the States, but here's the art cards that were promised to come with this collection. And I love that they put art cards, and you know, I've seen other collections and stuff I've gotten from Play Asia and Amazon Japan. I've seen other art cards come in these like resealable like cellophanes, and not you know. So I take my time, you know, pry it open. That way I can throw the art cards back in there, and there they will stay. But uh, Strikers 1945, I guess that's another uh, another picture from uh, obviously from the Striker series, and it's nice. It's a nice little art card there. This is a uh, it's Dragon Blaze. I'm assuming this is another Strikers, probably Strikers 1945-3. There's Soul Divide, pretty decent shooter, and another Dragon Blaze. Now Dragon Blaze plays kind of like uh, plays kind of like Gumbird, the Gumbird series. There's the soundtrack. I'm not gonna crack that open just yet. I'm gonna get into that, but it's just the discs in there anyway. There's no art cards or anything crazy in there. I really love the OSTs to all the games in the Striker series. I use them in my YouTube videos. I'm sure you guys have heard them. You'll probably hear one at the end of this video. But we will use the Switchblade to pop open this case here. And let's see. Let's see if this game actually comes with a manual. Because sw some Switch games actually have manuals in there. Which is nice. There's a little spot for them. And as a matter of fact, Raiden 5 has an OST in there on a UMD disc. So, okay. Yeah, there's a... Uh, prettiest manual okay interesting <laughs> that's an interesting manual it's some inner uh, inner case art there okay another art book or a art book I guess this is, this is the art book that comes with the game and uh, god looks pretty technical but yeah awesome I mean I wouldn't call that a manual but there's the uh, there's the cart right there and the inner artwork and manual, if you want to call it the manual. But yeah, that's uh, everything this collection comes with. It looks like you get art cards, you get that art book that comes inside the game. Of course, you get that killer soundtrack, and I recommend, you know, listen to Strikers 1945-2 soundtrack. It's killer. And I'm going to show you guys some other games that I have that are kind of releases that some of these games had before they came out on the Switch. So here's some games that I have that are from uh, the series or the set of games, the Alpha set that just came out. This is actually a burn that I made myself, but this is a Zero Gunner 2 on the Dreamcast. Um, pretty case art and everything like that. This is kind of a pricey game on the Dreamcast, you guys know. Um, one day I'll find an original, real, legit copy, and I'll pick it up then, but Zero Gunner 2. This has some pretty awesome mechanics for a shooter. Um, Soul Divide has a real artsy, medieval kind of tone to it for a shooter. It's got RPG-like mechanics for a shooter. And for the longest time, I don't know what it is right now, but this was a uh, pretty cheap game. And that was on the high end, that $15. You can probably still get it online for about that unless somebody said it was like some kind of hidden gem or something, but there's Soul Divide. And here's my original copy of Strikers 1945. 
And that's the price that I paid. It's probably still going for right around that 20 25 but I would just go get the Switch version now unless you're a retro collector like myself. But this is Strikers 1945, but really this is Strikers 1945 too. We just got it out here in the U.S. as Strikers 1945. And last but not least, uh, the games that are part of this collection. This is the Psycho Shooting Collection Volume 2. Um, this has Gunbird 2 on it. I think other than Gunbird 2... All the other games in this collection are on the Psycho Shooting Stars Alpha Collection. I'm assuming that Gumber 2 will be on the Psycho Shooting Stars Bravo Collection, but there's just some games that I own for other system guys that are part of this collection. Okay guys, so this is a real interesting talking point. Okay, so Canadian Gamer posted something about Square Enix. Uh, Square Enix releasing like vintage stock that they had. And that, that makes sense because companies have been known to do that. Nintendo recently um, said they were going to release, I guess, a uh, stock they had of uh, SNES and NES mini consoles. So it, it's not unheard of, right? So in my mind, I'm thinking like PS1, PS2 era, obviously not cartridge-based stuff. I'm thinking like Final Fantasy VII, like old copies of that. They might have got them in his returns. You know, I don't know. But um, so I go on the Square Enix site. I don't see anything. So I, I posted I didn't see anything. And then Canadian Gamer snaps back with... No, no, he means they're going to start repressing PS1 discs, right? So PS1 discs, thats I've never heard of anyone doing that. That's very interesting. And that something fires off in my brain, and maybe I'm just crazy, but my mind goes right to this. Everyone's talking about backwards compatibility with the PS5, right? Uh, my Samsung Galaxy phone, I think an S3 can run a PS1 emulator. Hell, I could probably go out and get a Fitbit, and it could run... A PS1 emulator so it wouldn't take much to run a PS1 emulator obviously on a PS5 um, you know it's just crazy to think that it wouldn't work right why would they start repressing discs does, does Square Enix know something that we don't you know I don't know I think there might be some kind of correlation there um, so guys I would love to know what you guys have to say about this down in the comments below um, if you guys have heard anything about these repressing of these PS1 discs from Square Enix you know, let me know down in the comments, guys. I'm real interested to hear what you have to say about this one. Anyways, till next time, guys. Peace out.